For more information, visit our website and blog www.mathswithnaseed.com and www.mathswithnaseedblogspot.com. Thank you. Do this page number 175, chapter 7, coordinate geometry. Find the point which divides the line segment joining the points 3, 5 and 8, 10 in the ratio 2 is to 3 internally. Let required point P, X, E is divides A, X1, Y1 and B, X2, Y2 in the ratio M1 is to M2. Then P, X, Y is given that M1, X2 plus M2, X1, Y, M1 plus M2. Comma M1 by 2 plus M2 by 1 by M1 plus M2. If P X comma Y is a point required which divides A 3 comma 5 and B 8 comma 10 in the ratio 2 is to 3, then P X comma Y is written as 2 into 8 plus 3 into 3 by 2 plus 3 comma 2 into 10 plus 3 into 5 by 2 plus 3. We get this one by after substituting the x1, y1, x2, y2 and m1 is to m2 values. 2 8 is a 16 and 3 3 is a 9. And in y coordinate 2 into 10 is 20 and 3 into 5 is 15. So by adding 16 plus 9 we get 25 and by adding 20 plus 15 we get 35. So we can write the order pair as 16 plus 9 by 5 comma 20 plus 15 by 5. In x coordinate we divide 5 on the 5 and 5 5 is a 25 and y coordinate 5 on the 5 5 7 is a 35 then we get a p of x y is equal to 5 comma 7. Do this page number 175 chapter 7 coordinate geometry second problem. Find the midpoint of the line segment joining the points 2 comma 7 to 12 comma minus 7. We already know that if P comma X is the midpoint of A X1 Y1 and V X2 Y2 then midpoint P of X comma Y is given that X1 plus X2 Y2 comma Y1 plus Y2 by 2. If 2 comma 7 and B 12 comma minus 7 given then required point x comma y is written as 2 plus 12 by 2 comma 7 plus of minus 7 by 2 12 plus 2 is 14 plus into minus is minus then we can write 7 minus 7 so we get 14 by 2 comma 7 minus 7 by 2 here 7 minus 7 is 0 then we write it by coordinate as 0 by 2 and now we cancel 2 1s are 2 and 2 7s are 14 then we get the x coordinate 7 therefore the midpoint p x comma y is written as 7 comma 0 please like share subscribe our channel for latest updates by pressing the bell icon for more information visit our website and blog www.mathswithnaseed.com and www.mathswithnaseedblogspot.com thank you